Hey everybody, the weather is beautiful outside today. Just perfect for exploring the city of Evansville, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Starting right here in the Historic Arts District. But first, I'm gonna meet a very good friend of mine for a tour of the sculpture park, but first, I'm kinda of hungry, so we're gonna stop in at River City Food Co out for a snack. Oh, Heidi! Yay! Hey! Hey! You ready to have the best day ever? Of course. All right, let's go in. Come on. Hi, right, ladies, how are you? Good. 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 Good I'm uh, gonna run, go get a snack. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Sure. okay. So, Lisa, I noticed you're doing the produce today. Um, could you tell us five things about the co-op that we might not know? Well, I think probably the thing that people are most confused about is the fact that you don't have to be a member to shop here. Everybody's welcome. We do have member owners. Um, and there's a lifetime membership thing that covers that, and you get discounts as a member, but you do not have to be a member. Feel free to you know, tell anybody to come on in and shop away. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. great. Yeah. So what else? Well, we offer EBT to try to help everybody be able to, oh, to awesome. have healthy foods. We try to do natural and organic, local and possible. Well, we actually do natural and organic, and we try to do local as possible um, because that's our thing. We are local, and we try to make sure that we offer options. That you, that you can get anything anywhere else, but we want to make sure you know that everything on our shelf is as healthy and natural and toxic free, toxic free as possible. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. It's really important. Yeah. We have a, a large selection of grocery supplies, grocery products, um, a small section of gluten free. We also have a large bulk area. That may be something free. else. Gluten free. So that's my favorite. And then the bulk area is definitely my favorite. Yeah. I that's, love it. We're, that's what, something that we're, it's unique to us in this area. You know, other yes. stores have different, their specialty supplements or grocery, large grocery items who have our large bulk area. I don't think people realize that they can get things cheaper in bulk. Because if you want a little bit of salt and you don't want to buy a whole container of it, you can just get a little pinch, put it in a bag, take it up here and exactly. get it and take it Or something you. that you want to try that you've never tried before. You don't have to commit to a large quantity of it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So maybe we can take a peek at our bulk area later, but yeah, that's something that we really are proud of and it is unique to us. Um, now you use a lot of local produce from local farmers and, and yes. different growers, correct? As much as we can. Every chance we get to get something local in our shop and have it go on display, we can do that. If we have to, but beyond the local, we try to, to get the products from Indie Fruit, and they work with local farmers as well. So even if it's not here in Edwardville or in the surrounding area, it's still, very, it's still regional. Yeah, I think it's 150 miles. And I that's, think that's, that's, a, that's a really good rule. Yes, so. yeah. and I think that Indie Fruit does that. Yes. Yeah. I think I found what I want, and uh, I want to point out that there's a resource library here as well. If you feel a little overwhelmed by all the choices, or you're a new vegetarian, vegan, you need things that are gluten-free, they have a lot of choices. Now, let's go take the tour. park here in the arts district why don't you walk around and look at all the other sculptures take a tour see you in a minute
We're here at one of my favorite places, probably the funkiest, coolest place in town, especially for kids. And if you're an art lover, Patchwork Central with Amy, who's going to tell us a little bit about what goes on here and what's happening tonight. I'm sure you can hear all that noise, but first I want to say, one of the things that I love so much about Patchwork is that there's art incorporated into everything. You go outside, there's a basketball goal that has been repurposed to announce the entrance to Patchwork Central's garden. There's cinder block wall has been transformed into art. Even the trash cans are art. So I, I appreciate that. I really like that. So what did, what is Patchwork all about? Tell us what's happening here. Yeah. So Patchwork has been part of this neighborhood um, near downtown Evansville since 1977. And it was started then by three couples who, um, four of the six were ministers, and they decided to be ministers to a neighborhood instead of being ministers to a church. So they moved down to this neighborhood and started looking around to what they could do to help improve the place, and um, Patchwork has grown and evolved from there. And so it ministers, but you also use art to do that as well. There's classes here. Tell us a little bit yeah, about that. Yeah. So one of the things that we're really well known for are our after-school children's programs and summer children's programs. And there's a real emphasis on the arts, and we've always had artists who are uh, leading those programs. But then the kids also get to do tutoring, and they get to do um, a variety of other things, like working in the garden and making snacks. And yeah. so it's, it's a fun, um, it's just a fun, fun time. And tell us a little bit about the food pantry program and the help that you provide sure. to the rest of the community. Yeah. And so in the mornings, uh, Patchwork is open and we've got um, one of the six emergency food pantries of Evansville here. And so if people are hungry and need food, they can come here and get a few days supply of food. Um, but we're also, the building's just open and so they can come in and talk to our office staff and a lot of the time people might need help with, uh, with rent or utilities or they'll just need to use the phone and so they can come in and um, we don't help with any of that but, but our office people try to know where to direct them to. Might point them in the right direction yeah. or to the right person. Mm -hmm. So the piano in the background, tonight is a poetry reading, tell us about that. Sure. So tonight we're having a poetry reading um, that we're calling Celebrate, and we've got two poets who'll be reading, uh, Marcus Wicker and Jenny Brown. Right, and then that is all the funds from this are to benefit Patchwork, right? Yeah. So I am ready to listen to some poetry, and I'm sure you are too. Thanks, Amy. Sure. Let's go. I think I love you. How you suck fried chicken grease off chalkboard fingers in public. I walk the wrong way down an escalator with a clock around your neck. How you rapped about the poor with a gold tooth grin. How your gold teeth spell your name. How you love your name is beautiful. You shout your name 100 times each day. They say, if you repeat something enough, you can become it. I'd like to know, does flavor flame sound ugly to you? It's been a really great day, but I need some coffee, and I hear there are a couple of bands playing inside. I'll see you in there. Hey y'all, I'm sitting here with Jesse from Wired. How you doing? I'm good. Alright, so tell us about Wired. How'd it start? What is it? What do you do here? Wired started back in, uh, it actually started back in 1990 with uh, my father um, in a different location. It began as the coffee house, mm -hmm. but we didn't sell coffee. We only had bands play. Right. Um, it kind of became a kind of a national spot for national touring bands to come through. Uh, we've had bands like POD, mm -hmm. uh, some of the bigger Christian heavy bands like Living Sacrifice. Um, 
a lot of those bands all came touring through this area mm -hmm. um, back in the, the 90s. We moved out of there about 10 years ago-ish, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I'm getting old quick, <laughs> and all the years are blending together. So, I think uh, everyone says that. <laughs> so we moved out of there, and then we got a place on Main Street, and then we got a grant to purchase this building. Okay. Uh, Wired's actually a nonprofit organization. Oh, see, now I didn't know that until you told me. So yeah. nonprofit, how does that work then? What do you do uh, for the community? Well, we, it became, it started in the 90s as a, like a youth outreach to kind of more the at-risk kids in the music scene. Mm -hmm. Give them um, a place to go, that's safe. Place to go, yeah. Um, the, uh, the, it started as shows and Bible studies. Uh, oh, okay. That my dad did back cool in. Cool concept. I guess, I guess the Bible studies, they started before the shows. I don't know, I was just a little kid back then. Yeah. Um, but yeah, shows and Bible studies. Um, and what do you, what do you do now? You have shows now. Like, we there's we one actually tonight. still do shows and Bible studies. Mm -hmm. We have a um, we have a it's called what is in the Bible. It's just kind of a, a reading through the Bible thing, and it's just like an open discussion about mm -hmm. what was read. Um, that's on Thursdays here, uh, along with Vintage Video Game Night. I have seen that, and I wanted to ask like Vintage Video Game, how vintage? We're we talking Atari, Coleco. There we are Ataris. Yes. We have a couple Ataris. We have the NES, the Super NES, right. the N sixty four. Mario. Um, there's some PlayStations, uh, there's eight consoles all together that we have, and sometimes we'll put some up and bring, mm -hmm. like, a GameCube out or something. Oh, right. Well, that's not, is that vintage? Am I old? Is I that, I mean, I guess since the weed's out, that makes that vintage, <laughs> but, okay, so you also have a full-service coffee bar here. Yes. And. And vintage. Memorabilia, vintage, vintage and vintage clothing, clothing like decor. my tie. There's yep. some dresses That's around a the corner. Sweet cat tie. No, we're Speaking gonna... of sweet tie. <laughs> that wasn't staged at all. <laughs> all right. We have iced Thai coffee. Right on. So why don't you go take a tour and let's do some shopping and then we're going to watch the bands. Nice to meet you. Good to meet Thanks. you. Thanks. Dress yourself up like 